And welcome to part 5 guys, and I'm going to open this by saying the reason why this video has taken me so long to upload is because I thought I lost a video. But I forgot I combined two videos together for the last part, which was part 4. So there's me in the folder looking for part 5, but I can't find it because I've already combined it with the other part. So, welcome to part 5. So, this level is probably where you will start losing life, because there's enemy place placements all over the place, which are dickish, like this one here. Which is you jump on a seesaw thing, and off chance that comedian might hit you. Best way to get them is to jump on them like this, and for some reason the tongue does not hurt you when you press down. They have a bit of a delay when they attack, so you could probably get about three shots in, but I want to be careful just in case. The same as the fire ones, they take about five hits and then they make that horrendous noise. And hooray, I got a life, because we are going to need them. The vines you just got to jump out of uh, the bottom and then hit the top and then grab the vine. It's not really that much of a challenge. So we got the three spitball and that's the best thing to use. There's nothing up here. I don't know why I went up here. So obviously I'm not a professional. So with the spitball, just go mental spitting everywhere because there are probably enemies that you wouldn't even see were there. It looks like we're back in sort of the jungle area. I know we are sending up the mountain to this uh, ancient temple, city, whatever it is, Atlantica, except it's uh, in the earth, so let's call it Earthica or something like that. So this is level six, I believe. And there is not really that much difference apart from you've got to climb a lot, there's a lot of bottomless pits, there's enemies absolutely everywhere as I've said. But the, ma the main problem is of course you've got to be careful where you're going. On this bit you just got to wait for him to move his tongue and then you just shoot him and the best ones are the spitballs for this level because uh, enemies just take no hits at all to hit so that's always a good thing got the little cute armadillo things which i don't see threatening at all but apparently if you run into them they will kill you so you know cute things can kill you as well you never know it might have a huge set of teeth under there this, I've given it a new name now, um, Some Call Me Johnny has introduced something called a Derposaurus Rect. That is what I think that is now, it's stuck in my head, I can't get it out now, that is a Derposaurus Rex. And here's not what to do, do not get close to this spider and get this to try and kill him because of this happens no way to avoid it either so the best way is to stay dis distance and shoot at him and he will die eventually this bit can be annoying because he, he shoots fire at you so keep your distance he does walk a bit before he actually shoots fire so you should be all right as long as you get close enough to hit him This part is basically descending down. You can go that way, but I decide to go this way because it looks like the safest route. And there are so many pitfalls in this level. It's crazy. I'm still suffering from a cold, but I have gone to get the flu jab. Because something which uh, you guys may not know, uh, I look after my nan. Probably not something to bring up on the internet, but that is why I've cho chosen to try and upload uh, videos and that in my spare time because there's nothing else I can really do. And I enjoy it. It's actually a really fun hobby and I would suggest to people to do it. All you've got to do is record a game, one of your favourite games or any game, and uh, voice over it. And this is the way not to go. It's 
like a do's and don'ts in my videos. I basically show you what not to do, and I show you what to do. And as I demonstrated from quite a few videos ago, no, the star does not protect you against spikes. So this is the way you're meant to go. All these platforms. If you let go of the jump button, then you can just go straight through to the platforms, but I decide, no, I'm gonna hold it just in case I miss something. That star, it can be useful, but it's not really that necessary. So we're descending. I mean, I, I don't even understand what these are meant to be, like just breakable platforms to the exit to the next area where we are. So basically, we've gone across, we've gone down, and now we're going up. So basically, we are just going... We went down for no reason because now we've got to go up. This is not a bright monkey. So we are sending even more. Keep going and save your girlfriend. The platforms, as I say, the collision can just be out of whack, but you can use it to your advantage. Uh, always shoot on vines because you get these creatures on them. It's 90% of the time they are on there, so you just shoot upwards and you should be alright. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Those, I think they're bats, but they look more like hummingbirds. Right, what killed me? I don't know, but I'll show you in a minute. But first, I'm going to show you this bit. Do not attempt to jump, because this happens. If you jump at the peak, you might be lucky, but as you saw there, that enemy in the spikes was what killed me last time. So when you get on this platform, just shoot upwards and you'll get him. And now we're introduced to a blue ghost, which does absolutely no difference to the red ghost. He's exactly the same. He just comes at you with spears and shoots you, but he's pretty easy to avoid, so don't worry about him. And for some odd reason, you've got Jello on the other side. I don't know, the sap from trees or some magic gel, I don't know. If Toki used some of it, maybe you could spike his hair up and look a bit like a rebel! Oh, we'd still have the derpy expression. Kind of reminds me of Fry from Future Armor. But the bouncing ones are really good if you bounce, uh, if you shoot them from high, because then they bounce everywhere and can hit any enemy which is in the vicinity, or even off-screen them. So we're coming to the end of this part of the level. There is nothing here. I am just being uh, over uh, cautious. But there is no da uh, no danger there at all. So we'll move on to the next bit. Bastar! Or as I call him, Bastard! This is the guy that stole your girlfriend, so kill him. What he does is his heart comes down and his fists and he gets his legs involved as well. He walks towards you, so what you've got to do is shoot his feet and then they'll stop and then he'll respawn some more. His hit fists are shield, so the, it doesn't matter what you do, you can't kill them. So keep shooting his heart. Spam that shoot button, because if he comes near you, his hands will hit you and it's a one-hit kill. So just bear with it and keep shooting and shooting and eventually he will drop dead. His heart will explode with green gas. Showing that obviously he has blue skin for a reason. No, he hasn't got any other part of his body, but let's give him a hand anyway. See you in part six.